Well, I've been cooking for a while and it always makes me smile when a recipe turns out just right. I like to saute and grill every day, you know it satisfies my appetite. But what I like to do when I'm all alone with you is create a new recipe. Won't you come along and relax for a while, let's explore the possibilities. Won't you cook with me? This recipe, it was meant to be. Hey folks, Johnny Moe the Musical Chef here with another great webisode for you. I want to tell you about one of my favorite things to do in the summertime. That's right, offshore fishing. We go for great species like tuna, wahoo, dorado, or mahi-mahi. Today, we had a great catch and I've got some delicious fresh yellowfin tuna. I want to show you how we can make one of my favorite recipes, tuna tartare. Real quick and easy, simple stuff. Let's get together and show you what you're going to need to do. Most important is some fresh, sushi grade number one yellowfin tuna. Some chopped fresh cilantro. Some toasted sesame seeds. Some shredded carrot. A little bit of ground ginger. Follow that with some low sodium soy sauce. Some diced onion. I use red for a little extra color. This is some Japanese hot sauce. It comes in a clear bottle with a green plastic lid. Just a little shot of toasted sesame oil. Be careful, this is very potent. And some fresh lime juice. One of the most important parts about being prepared in the kitchen is having your mise en place. That's a French culinary term for everything in its place. As you can see right here, I've got all my ingredients in front of me, measured out, ready to go. It's going to make it much easier when we're putting this simple dish together. So we want to start by getting this tuna chopped up. So now we've got our tuna on the cutting board. We're going to cut against the grain. Cut nice thin strips. And the goal here is uniformity. We want it to all be the same size. So now we'll cut across that way. We have a nice even dice. We'll put that into our bowl. And we'll do it again with the other one. We'll find the grain. You see the grain of the tuna there? We're going to cut against that grain. This tuna is super fresh and super tender. I can't wait to scarf it down. So now that we've got our tuna diced, we're going to start adding some of the ingredients. We'll start with the cilantro. I love cilantro. You put it as much as you like, but I like to load it up. Next, we'll add the granulated ginger. Then, get this party really started, we'll put in about a tablespoon of soy sauce. Low sodium, I like to keep it healthy where we can. Next, we'll add the red onion, the toasted sesame seeds, the shredded carrot, and a little touch of the hot sauce. We can always add more later, it's not spicy enough. Now that almost all of our ingredients are in, we're going to put on the final touches. We're going to put a little shot of this sesame oil, and remember it's potent, so just a little touch will do. Also, we're going to add in the lime juice. It's key to add the lime juice at the end because the citrus and the acid in there will cook the tuna. We don't want to make this like a ceviche. We want to make it a tartare. Just add a little lime flavor, stir it up, get it rocking and rolling, and let's get ready to plate. So now we're ready to plate. What I'm going to do is take this nice little ceramic dish, put the tartare in there and make a mold out of it. Then we'll invert it right on our plate and we'll garnish it up. So what we do is pack it right in there. It's real nice and easy. This makes enough for about three to four people. This particular recipe, once again, you can find it in my cookbook, but I'll tell you all about that in a few minutes here. So what we'll do is just pop it right upside down. Kind of holds that nice round shape. We'll garnish it with a little tortilla chip. We use a little bit of sauce here just to kick it up if somebody wants to put a little extra spice in there, make it look nice and pretty. And there you have it. So there you have it, my tuna tartare. Super easy, super fresh, super fast. If you like this recipe and want to see more just like it, go to chefjohnnymo.com and check out one of my two great cookbooks, Johnny Mo Rocks the Party and Johnny Mo Rocks the Kitchen. And if you learn great, easy recipes like this, you can rock the kitchen too. Well, I've been cooking for a while and it always makes me smile when a recipe turns out just right. I like to saute and grill every day, you know it satisfies my...